Hi, this is Milu. Today I would like to give my intuitive impression of uh, Trump's attitude toward McCann's passing and it took place yesterday, Monday, August 27th. Trump shot himself in the foot yesterday by raising the flag to full mass and refusing to commemorate or even acknowledge that McCann was an American hero. It feels like to me Trump is envious of anyone who, know, who knows better than he does or who done something or anything that he cannot do or he hasn't done. Trump, it feels like to me, if he's not in control, he acts like a big baby. This man has a lot of hatred bottled up inside. And if you don't let him know where you stand and that you can take him on, he will walk all over you. From what I understand, people who know him well says, you know, he's very charming and, and, and like. When he's in front of you, he's charming because he's a coward. Once you leave or behind your back, God help you. In any event, he finally gave in and allowed the flag to, f to fly at uh, half mast. It's because of the American Legion who put pressure on him among other people. But I feel that behavior is going to cost Trump on top of other things that he has done. I feel this was a grave mistake and even his supporters were not happy. Some of them don't care, but those who voted and are paying attention to how he behaves, I'm not going to give him a pass on this one. Veterans are not very happy. Not all of them will turn against them, but quite a few of them will. And also, if you notice the way he announced that half has it, supposedly him and Mexico reached a deal on NAFTA and he wanted to change the, na the names, this man is full of baloney. I don't feel this thing is going to work. Just like North Korea, I don't know if everyone heard, Kim Jong-un sent him a secret letter, or oh, somebody close to Kim Jong-un, I'm not quite sure, they told him that uh, the way things are going now, North Korea may restart the, the nuclear test, which I'm not surprised because I predicted a while back that this was going to fail. And yesterday, when he announced that the negotiation between America, the United States and Mexico is bearing fruit or has bare fruit, that was a way for him to break into the news cycle that was all about McCain. It had nothing to do with NAFTA or whatever deal he's trying to make with Mexico and he's gonna fail. I don't see Trump winning on anything going forward. I, it, 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 and it's because, first of all, world leaders know he's not popular. Majority of Americans don't like him. The man is not very bright. You fighting with everybody, how far do you think you're gonna get? Today he decided to, to attack Google because of the algorithm. What does he think? Google runs a different algorithm when you enter somebody's name or a company's name? No, it doesn't work that way. So he's just looking to change the news cycle. It's all pretense, looking for anything he can hang on 
to change the conversation, but I, I don't think it's going to work. Because regardless of what Trump does, he's not going to slow Mueller down. That's not going to do anything with uh, what New York State is working on and SDNY. Nothing Trump can do at this point that's going to make any difference. And to be honest, Trump is not accomplishing anything these days in the White House. He's consumed by hatred and he starts complaining about anything he sees on Fox News. That's all Trump does and he goes golfing. Trump is not doing anything. If he does anything, it's something that uh, the Republicans already had in the pipeline or something they were working on before while they were waiting for a Republican president. That's all he's doing. Everything else that he's talking about, I don't feel Trump is going to accomplish much more. And the other thing I feel, once his, pres his presidency is over, everything he touched or whatever executive order he signed, they're all going to be rescinded. And another thing, many Republicans that are backing Trump now, I feel like saying that, you know, by 2020 or 2021, a lot of them are going to be gone. Because if they think what they are putting the country through right now is going to go away, I feel like saying they are greatly mistaken. That's not going to work. And there are a lot more investigations that are going to go on even after Trump is gone. Another thing I would, I would like to touch with, I heard Manafort was in communication with Mueller, but things are not going well between Manafort's team and Mueller. It's because Mueller feels in control. Mueller knows what he has and we don't know. Mueller feels Manafort has to give him enough in order for him to make any deals with Manafort because at this point, he's controlling Manafort's future. So Mueller is in no mood for Manafort thug-like behavior and Trump's, or Trump's like behavior. And I'm going to say this again because I'm, that's what I'm feeling. Trump is not going to get out of this. The Republicans can encircle him and try to defend him and keep him in power no matter what they do. There is a point one reach when people lose respect for you when you are in a position of authority, like Trump is, people have no more trust than you. Yes, he's still gonna have some followers, but I feel that moment is fast approaching. And yesterday with the McCann debacle did not help. When Mueller releases whatever report he's going to release, however he's going to do this, that's not going to help Trump at all. That report and whatever findings that the Mueller investigation is going to find is going to erode Trump's support. I feel that's where this is going to have, that report is going to have the most impact. And that's what's going to create more headaches for Trump and Pence is going to get wet as well. Even though he will, according to the Constitution, that he, you know, he's next in line, but Pence is going to have a lot of trouble himself. In the process of trying to calm the waters after Trump is gone, I feel Pence is going to take a lot, he's going to do a lot to dismantle some of the stuff Trump has done and also he's going to clean a lot of people that they have in the cabinet or advisors 
most of them are going to be gone, including uh, Steve Miller. All these people are no longer going to have access to the White House once Trump is gone and Pence takes over. Because, yeah, Pence is very conservative. He's not stupid. He knows, he already has his plans what to do once Trump leaves the stage. And don't, I feel like saying this, I would not be surprised if he turns on Trump. And this is all I have for today as far as Trump and those around him or and those in the government for today. I would like to let everyone know that I do personal readings as well. So if you would like to make an appointment, please email me and we can work out a date and time. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you have not done so. And also don't forget to click on the bell next to the subscription icon in order for you to be notified when I am live streaming or if I post a video. So thank you very much for watching. Till next time.